Hey, do you reckon Keith knows that, you know, we've been taking them flowers for Uncle Momo? Man, he can't prove anything, bro. You worry about nothing. Hey, hey, check, check this video out. Press play. Yeah. No, we're not going to get it out. He's parked us in. Fucking couriers. Fair income. Fuck. Fair fucking dinkum. He's only a little bloke. Go and hit him. He'll move. He showed me this the other week what he's a man, she's a man, mate. Don't show me that. OK. <laughs> Check that one out. Little, the guy's fucking huge. You need to get your eyes checked, mate. He's only five foot. Mate, you need to get your fucking eyes checked. Soft, I'll go deal with him. Soft, you deal with him, mate. I'm gonna lock the doors and call the fucking ambulance. Hey, that dwarf looks very similar to David in Dispatch. Uh, David. Hey, man, I better go. I've got jobs. All right. What the fuck are you looking at, Willie Nelson? Huh? You got a problem? I'm Amanda Doyle, the new regional manager of Swift and Shift. The courier business should be simple, really. You, the client, phones our call centre and tells us what's going where. The radio room should organise a competent driver to take your package from A to B on time. It seems so simple. So why does Keith's depot always manage to stuff it up? Hello, Swift and Shift courier. Yeah, bro. Listen, bro. Client from the last job's telling us that you're just standing out the front of the house. What's going on, mate? There's a dog in the front garden, bro. You know I don't go near dogs. When they move the dog, I'll take it in. <laughs> what are you, some sort of halal chicken? Get your ass in there, mate. Listen, you mutt. Don't make jokes about religion. You do it again, I'll swell I'll smash you. Mate, if you're such a hero, why don't you deliver the package, you big pussy? It's just a dog, mate. I swear I hate that dickhead. I hate him. What do you want? I want an appropriate chair that caters for someone like me. My feet don't touch the ground. They're not adjustable. Hey, special chairs are not in the budget. It's head office. Don't blame me. I want an appropriate chair. Excuse me, Keith. Um, the girls told me to tell you that Leanne's running late. Stop fucking joking, Keith! Hello, work cover. Yeah, my workplace is unsafe and we need to shut it down. Just tell me a little bit more about the company there. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, well, boys, look who's late again. <laughs> when do I get the ball? OK, George, if I throw it to you and you drop it, then we get to tape you up and throw you in the box. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. oh well, boys, where's our biggest box? Yeah, there's heaps of safety violations here, mate. Especially the chairs. What's, uh, what's the name of the company? Swift and Shift. <laughs> Sounds dodgy already. Oh, big night, was it? Leanne, you're late again. In my office now. Ooh, I hope that smell isn't her feet. Swift and Shift couriers. You want to speak to who? Renzo, uh, line seven is for you. Hello, customer service. I've ordered another package of shoes and I think that you should come and deliver them personally. You have to stop calling me. My wife works here. I'm in the bar. Renzo, who is it, bro? It's the shoe lady again. Has anyone ever told you that you have a very elegant voice? Renzo. Mm -mm. What a strong name. Now look, Leanne, I like you. 
but you've been late three times in three weeks. And every time you're late, Darren has to cover for you, he starts to whinge, and it becomes my problem. You mean Oliver? The puffy one. Isn't his name Darren? No, it's Oliver. <sighs> Keith, I've got an angry florist on the line for you. Not the bloody florist again. Put it through to Renzo. I smell hanky-panky here, my There's no hanky-panky. Believe me, there's no hanky-panky. I'm innocent. I haven't done anything, OK? Renzo and Doreen are discussing the shoe lady, and I'm not going to interrupt them, Keith. OK, put the florist through to line three. And Leanne, don't be late again, OK? Hello, Swift and Shift, operations manager, Keith Warren speaking. Hello, it's Fernando here from Peters of Apatini. Listen, I send a big bunch of roses to a customer, a dozen, and when he gets the flower, there were only seven. What's going on? This is happen every time I'm booking with you. Let me see what you bloody got. Is this all? Come on, you get them for free. Look at that. They are already dead. Who's going to buy this stuff? Look, you're my uncle, and I do respect you. But, man, come on. You're taking too many. I mean, can't you take one or two? The customer's going to complain. Stuff your bloody customer. Who cares about your customer? What about me, huh? Now I've got to put a special on roses. That roses for sale. Sell for roses. Roses for sale. Hello, Mario. That's space two here. Hello. Uh, Keith wants you to come in. Yeah, what for? Oh, I'm not sure, bro. Uh, just come in. <laughs> That'll be the worst coffee I've ever tasted. Mm. Where's Anthony? Mm. Anthony! We were set back Um, Keith, I'm just wondering if you can have a word with Leanne about putting her shoes back on. They stink. Get back to work, Darren. Hey, Smurf, wake up. I told you not to use that fucking language with me, Luigi. Listen, somebody's parked me in, unless the wanker moves, I'm stuck. So that means my jobs aren't going anywhere. Understand? A bit that. Coffee shop, chatting up that chick with a nice ass. Listen, you little testicle. I'm only telling you because I'm running late. I told you fucking not to use that language with me, mate. Yeah, yeah, dickhead, whatever. Oi! You parked me in. That's really, really inconsiderate. Hey, what's your problem? Hey, hey, hey. Come on, then do something. Stand up. Don't sit there doing nothing. Get up. And if you had enough, then don't oh, give us up. Then it's time for you to just get up. Come on, then do something. Stand up. Don't sit there doing nothing. Get up. And if you had enough, then don't give us up. Then it's time for you to just get up. Hello, Louis. Can't talk right now, mate. I'm busy. Yeah, well, call me back as soon as you can. I think someone's not being like about the flowers to key. Uh, Leonard, it's me. Uh, man, does Keith want to see me because of something to do with flowers? Just out of interest? I have no idea. Uh, you'll have to discuss it with him. Roses for sale. Beautiful dead roses for sale. Rosa Gopelish Rosa Tornamach. Hey, right, Twins, what's the problem with you two? Hey, David, mate. The shoe lady says she's not going to sign for the package unless Renzo brings it over personally. Where's my little Rambo Renzo? Yeah? I'll get back to you guys in a sec. Hey, Renzo, what's going on with you and the shoe lady? You giving it to her nicely or what? Oh, no. Has she called again? No, but she's ordering stuff and refusing to take deliveries unless you bring them personally. I took a complaint once and she said I have an elegant voice. I've ordered some new shoes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come and sniff them? I haven't done anything. Say right. Hey, Mark, listen. Tell her if she doesn't take the order, we'll have to keep it here at the depot. Hey, you reckon she's still wearing that towel? Hey, sweetie, how's that job going to Murderville? I'm having a big problem. I can't find the place. You're not using that Chinese GPS, are you? I told you to get a street directory. Sorry, what did you say? You are very hard to understand. Can you believe that, Asian Black? He reckons I'm hard to understand. I didn't get a fucking word of that. What did you say, mate? Hey, hello, Sule. What's the problem, bro? Oh, yeah, the lift is broken and I have to walk up all these steps. Oh, I'm making a sweat. Oh, come on, Sully, 
here, relax. Why is the lift broken? Listen, when you're in the van, check your screen. I've got a job going to George Street. Why is the lift not working? No, you shit! No, you shit! No! Who? Where's the man? Where's the man? Are you the man? Yellow! Sort of float. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, it's all What's the gap? What's the gap? Oh, good catch, bro. Oh, I just needed some air. There's a terrible smell of foot odor in my workspace. Hey, Oliver, give us a kick, bro. Oh, I'm not very good. Oh, there was choice, bro. Time is a waste of life. And if you get wasted all the time, then you might just have a time of your life. But check it out, get wasted all the time. Oh, you get wasted all the time. Oh, fucking run the hell, man. Shit, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, bro. You're right. I'm from work, Cap. Where's your manager? Oh, he's upstairs, bro. What's that noise? Well, he did drop the ball, bro. <laughs> I think Swift and Shift's in a bit of shit here, boys. That dude's from work cover. You've got some serious work cover breaches going on out there, pal. You, you got people playing ball games out there next to a running forklift. You've got workers out there that don't have any footwear on at all. They're an environmental hazard, Leanne. They stink. You've got disabled people being abused. And while I was inspecting the toilets, I found this. Oh, looks like a, a cigarette, you know, the, the roll your own kind. <laughs> George, did you take my joint? No. <laughs> Let's not play games, Mr. Warren. It's a joint. Okay? And even if it was a cigarette, smoking cigarettes in the toilet, which I might add, do not have smoke alarms, is totally against work cover regulations. We don't have alarms. All of you should be wearing these. Put them on now, please. Hey, pal, you got a 10XL or what? The size of this wouldn't fit a midget. Sorry? What'd you, what'd you say? You're the 10x fellow, what this wouldn't fit him. What, what, what's wrong with him? Hey, how come we gotta wear these in here? I look like a poof, mate. Mate, look, I, I know how it must look to you from where you're standing, but I can tell you this I've been in the courier business for over 30 years, and this depot is completely safe. He's got the best sucker out his fucking neck. Fuck with that apple. Oh, 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 I think I've been caught in the vest. Get a scissors or something. Help me. I'm stuck in his back. I've got a box cutter. Okay, wait, move out of the way. Move, move, move out of the way. Stop moving, guys. Do you want me to cut you? What do you reckon's going on in there? Shut up, you lot. We're trying to work it here. Swift and ship couriers. Where's that mud, Alex? He's not answering his radio. Is this Abdul? Yeah, it's Abdul. Tell him that little shit, Alex. I was bitten by the dog. And Gorsini! Shit! Yes, that's Gorsini, I'm gonna come to base. And I'm gonna fuck his life. He's fucked. He's gone. Gorsini, tell him, huh? You gonna tell him? Make sure you tell him, huh? Okay, I'll tell him. Um, excuse me, everyone. Alex just cut his hand on a box cutter. Give my mum! Call my mum! Does anyone know where the first aid kit is? Um, Cliff took it on his boat for when he goes fishing. Where's the first aid kit? I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding! Hey, someone tell Alex Abdul's coming to bat.
smash him. Okay, that's it. Everybody, stop work. This entire workplace is going to have to undergo mandatory drug testing. Oh, Princess Bess smells like dog's balls. Where's the band-aids? I told Keith this place was unsafe. Fucking best stinks, mate. Hey, Alex, I don't mean to worry you, but Abdul said he's coming to bash you up. know why Keith wants to see me? I've no idea, bro. Pass a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, Amanda. I'm afraid we've got real trouble. Work cover are here, and they're doing a full inspection. Oh, shit! How did this happen? He said he got a complaint from one of our staff members. Oh, hang on. You hang wanted on. to see me, Keith? It's not about the flowers, is it? Just wait in the dock. Sorry, Amanda. What do you want me to do? I'm coming over there. Try and keep him happy. Sorry, guys. Lunch over. Efficiency recommendations will have to wait. What's going on? Oh, bloody Keith. He's stuffed up again. Why am I not surprised? I knew I should have sacked him. Um, would you like us to call you a cab? <laughs> With a smelly cab driver, I would rather bleach my anus. I'm all right. The Wanker brothers have arrived. Which one of these guys were now with your ex, bro? I can't tell, mate. Because they're twins, they look similar. I don't know which one to have the shits with. Look who's here. It's -a me, Mario. Dickhead. I'll just have the shits with them both. It just makes it easier. What's going on with this woman? Look, Doreen, I've done nothing. She just won't leave me alone. Well, I just simply adore shoes. Because I like the smell of them. And I like all the different personalities that I can be when I wear them. If I find out that you've been cheating on me, I'll divorce you quick smart. Understand? What's this, bro? The shoe lady wouldn't take it unless Renzo delivered it personally. I don't know this shoe lady. OK, stop work, everybody. You're all required under work cover legislation to undergo a drug test. Anthony here will be passing out the sterile containers. Fancy making us take a drug test. Clarissa, hurry up. I'm trying, but if you all talk, I can't concentrate. Who broke the other friggin' toilet anyway? That bloody idiot George broke it. I'm trying. Oh, how come there's only one fucking toilet working? George, hurry the fuck up! Sitting in there like a fucking idiot, man. Are we meant to do a poo in this or what? Piss in the cup, George! You really reckon Abdul's gonna bash me? Oh, yeah, you know the marriage law, mate. They're gonna cut your nuts off. What did you just say? Uh, you fucking deaf. They're gonna cut his nuts out. You know the Arabs are like. I don't think I can fit a poo in this. Ah! Bust stuff this. You do mine, cuzzy. I'm going to warm up the barbecue. I think Doreen's going to leave me this time. What the fuck is going on with you and the shoe lady, Renzo? <laughs> oh, you stupid <laughs> bitch! Who had your dance in my uniform? from Swift and Shift, what are you doing here? Hey, Mate, I've got the bike, I'm the bike courier, CBD's mine. No, 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 I've got 31 for the 31 place. That's not the box for 31, this is a box, mate. Look at the job sheet, 31. Face is fucked up the ass, mate, they've stuffed you around. Get them on the radio, this is my job. <laughs> my job. No, no, you shit. Yo, shit! Fuck, shit, fuck! Hey, everybody, the snags are nearly ready. Do you really think this is appropriate? Well, it is after his knock-off time. Oh, I'm Anthony. Where's your sample? Hey! Hey! Where is that fucking mud, Alex? Hey, Abdul, Abdul! 
Knuckles! Don't touch me, bro! See what happens when you don't eat real meat, bro? Or drink? Oh, sometimes the couriers get a bit unhappy with the jobs the dispatchers give them. It's part of the industry. Part of the industry. Has anyone seen Renzo? Where are the band-aids? Where is he? Ugh. You nut! Look at this! See this! The dog bit me! Hey, God help me, I feel sick! I got rabies! You fuckweed, I got kids! Who's gonna take care of them? Who's gonna feed them? You bastard! You stay right here. I need you to witness those samples. Oh. Hey, boys, go and help, will you, for God's sake? Well, what about the sausages? Oh, fuck the sausages. Give me off this bit of shit, will you? Get him off me! Get him off me! Get him off me! This report, how bad is it? Bad. Hey, boss, I've got everyone's drug urine. Why aren't the lids on those samples? You want lids on them too? Put them over there on that table and go and get the lids. Give! Give! Give me more kiss away, get cool, my I hate this damn job! I quit! I hate the people, I hate the traffic, and especially, I hate the clothes! Hey, bro, I swear to God, chill out, will ya? This is the worst workplace I have ever visited. And as far as I'm concerned, you can all go home. Because from here on in, this place is officially fucking closed down. Good after fucking noon. Anthony, call an ambulance. What's the number? Mm, this is good. Has anyone seen Renzo? I brought your shoes. Look. I, th I think it's better if we don't see each other anymore. But we've been having so much fun over the last three weeks, haven't we? My little Rambo, Renzo. I just can't deal with being the object of someone's obsession. Things have changed, changed. I know life's strange. This game over. Game over. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be if you're nice to know ya. Game over. Game over. Everything seems different now that I've grown up. It's game over. Game you never over. Never really wanna be anyway until I've grown up. Game over. Ah, oh, get this fat fuck off of me!